Okay, we're looking at D6 in geometry and it's proofs involving parallel lines. And it's a nice sunny day outside. So I thought, let's try and complete an IXL in under eight minutes, see how I do. <clears throat> so we're taking a look at this proof and we are given that VWY and RTS. So VWY, let's go find it. VWY is this angle right here where my mouse is and RTS. Well, I guess we could call them same side exterior angles. They are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. That's what this second step is. And the third step, oh, it looks like they're going to give me a linear pair here. And they have all these reasons. RTS is this one. STW is this one. Yep, those make a linear pair. So if this plus this is 180, my next step is to show that this angle and this angle right here are equal because those are corresponding angles, but it doesn't look like that's what it's going to give me. Hmm. Okay. VWY and RTS are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. These two guys are a linear pair. And now I don't like this reason. It should just be called substitution. Since these two in two and three, both of those equal 180, they are equal to each other. And look, we're taking away RTS from both sides. You can see that RTS there and RTS uh, is right there and they're being subtracted away. That's algebra. So angle VWY, we need to figure out what these are. VWY is here, STW is here. Those are corresponding angles. They're in the lower right hand side, this one and this one. And so if I'm using it to say that two lines are parallel, that's the converse of the corresponding angles postulate. And let's go, next problem. That took longer than I wanted to take. Let's take a look. Uh, complete the proof that SUV, that is this one, and YXZ are 180 degrees. Well, let's take a look. I'm given that they're parallel. That you can see the red dots mean that red triangles mean they're parallel. Angle YXZ is this one, is congruent to VUX. Those are corresponding angles, so that's not too bad. And if those are corresponding angles, now they're going to give me a linear pair, SUV and SUV, V, U, X. Those are these two. And take a look. If SUV is equal and, and V, U, X add up to 180, look at V, U, X right there. It's the same as V, U, X right there. And now they're going to substitute Y, X, Z in place of U, V, V, U, X. And that proves then that SUV plus YZX, and that's just substitution. You can kind of see um, whenever you show two angles are congruent, they're usually going to try and replace one of them with the other. So this is just going to be a substitution property of equality to show that SUV and YXZ add up to 180. All right, we're up 36. <laughs> Uh, we're given that TSV and SVU are congruent, yay, and we're trying to prove lines are parallel. Whenever you try and prove lines are parallel, you're always going to be using a converse. So you can see here that RT is parallel and they're using a converse. Let's go figure out, uh, you can kind of see it here, there's TSV and there's TSV and all of a sudden TSV gets replaced with SVU. So TSV, SVU, TSV, QSR, and all of a sudden SVU and QSR. And that's called uh, the transitive property. When one is equal to two and two is equal to three, then one is equal to three. And it's kind of like a daisy chain there. That's the transitive property of congruence, not equality. It's congruence because there's a congruence symbol there. All right, where are we at now? I hope I don't miss any of these things. That'll be silly. Uh, four step proof. Let's see. Complete the proof that RSV plus SVU. RSV is this one. SVU is this one. Those are same side interior angles. Let's prove that they add up to 180. Um, take a look. If these two lines are parallel, this statement has to do with something about a relationship in parallel lines. Let's go see what it is. SVU is this angle right here. And QSR is this one here. Take a look. My mouse is in QSR. SVU. Anybody know what kind of angles those are? Those are corresponding angles. And this is going to be the corresponding angles postulate because I already knew the lines were parallel. Now I'm proving the angles are congruent. And that's the only one I got to do. 
So far, it hasn't been terrible. Hey, we're at a 60. Right now, I got a 7 out of 8. Oh, look, they're parallel. So if they're parallel, this has to be a relationship between one of those big ideas. Let's take a look. What kind of angles are they? V, W, Y is this one. And S, T, W is this one. Anybody? Anybody? Those are corresponding angles. They're in the same place, upper right-hand corner. Corresponding angles, postulate. Hmm. And now S, T, W. Look, and you see S, T, W there, and now it's here. S, T, W and R, T, U. S, T, W is this one. R, T, oh, look at those. Those are right across from each other. R, T, U is right here. Those are vertical angles. That's a vertical angle theorem. Vertical angles are congruent, and the last step is given to us. Uh, you can take a look. S, T, U, S, T, W, S, T, W. Those are the same. And I'm trying to prove that V, W, I, and R, T, U are the same, and that's transitive property. All right, so far it hasn't been awful. We're at a, I'm six and a half minutes in. I got to go, 6.30, let's go. I need probably two more left to get to an 80. RSV and SVU are supplementary. RSV, that's this one, that's this little guy right there, and SVU. So they're giving me same side interior angles are supplementary. These are same side interior angles, one's there and one's there. Prove that UW is parallel to RT. I guess we could say that if same side interior angles are supplementary, the lines are parallel, that would be the converse of the supplementary angles theorem, but they don't give me that. They're not going that way. So let's take a look. Given. RSV plus SVU add up to 180. Yep, definition of a supplementary angle. And now this one is a linear pair. QSR, RSV. These two add up to 180. They already gave me that these two add up to 180. That means uh, that I'm going to have some substitution going on. And this is, and this is substitution, better call it substitution property. I think I saw it earlier where I saw it called transitive property. But that equals 180 and so is that and therefore they must be equal to each other. I'm going to choose substitution because that's what it should be. And let's hope they don't mark me wrong. And then I got SVU is QSR. Well, look what they did. They subtracted RSV from both sides. And let's take a look at what kind of angles these are because this last statement is going to depend on this relationship. SVU is this one and QSR is this one. Those are corresponding angles. And if corresponding angles are congruent, which are those right there, then the lines are parallel. And this is the converse of the corresponding angles postulate that says if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. That better be substitution. Oh, good. I wonder if they would have given it to me right if I marked transitive. I don't know. Last one, and I got four reasons. Okay, well, the first one's a given um, because that's what it's always going to be. They're telling me SU is parallel to VX. Complete the proof. Well, this one right here, we got to figure out what kind of angles they are. TWV, that's this one here. TWV right there. And RTS, that's right here. Those are corresponding angles. This is in the lower right-hand part of this little cluster, and this is in the lower right-hand part. That's just the corresponding angles postulate. So now I've got corresponding angles. And at some point, I'm probably going to have to have vertical angles. And I see that this has a T in common right there and there. So this is means most likely vertical angles. RTS is right here. And UTW is right there. Those are vertical angles. So that's be the vertical angles theorem, which is all the way down at the bottom. And look at what we kept. Uh, TWV is right there. TWV equals RTS. RTS equals UTW. This is a transitive property that says UTW is equal to TUV or congruent. Transitive property of congruence. That should get me to an 80. And there we go. That's it. Done.